All right, folks, welcome back to Procreate. So I'm going to show you as we finish this elephant how this works. Now, there is a known bug in Procreate that even though you export as a blank PNG, just like with what I did here, when you go and put it in, the white will still come up. So this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get around that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit on the wrench here. You're going to want to share the image, and you're going to want to share it as Procreate. So this doesn't do much if you're going to put it into Photoshop or something. You're still going to want to export the PNG, but hopefully Photoshop does a better job. It's in the Procreate forms, so it's a known issue. And so if you're having that problem, what I would encourage you to do, save the file in the Procreate on your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace it. And now, when you come in to put it onto a t-shirt, you will get the transparent image. Now, I have included in your downloads a PNG from Pixabay so that you have a blank work form. I'm going to show you how to do a modified version of this in the earlier courses. I went through and I showed you how to do the modifiable version from a JPEG. We're just going to skip right to a PNG. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. Let's go ahead, click on here. I'm going to make it 1,000 by 1,500 pixels tall. And I'm going to bring it in. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to come in, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add. I'm going to insert a photo. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to find this T-shirt. All right, perfect. Now notice, if I turn off my background layer, this T-shirt has already been keyed out. This is awesome. Now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. So let's go ahead and duplicate rename, call this one shadow, and now in between these two layers, I want you to add another layer, and I want you to call this one color, just like that. Now, let's make a clipping mask. Click on the gray square, go ahead, click on clipping mask, and then go ahead here, hit on clipping mask. So that clips them all to this layer, the base. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a shirt here. Doesn't matter what style. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it just kind of an off gray shirt. I think that that's kind of going to be cool. And let's go ahead now and fill it. Now where to go? You see it's in there? You have to change the blend mode on the top layer. Now we're in business. And while we're speaking of the top layer, let's go ahead and add in a curves adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure the gamma selected. I'm going to lighten the lights, and I'm going to darken the darks. Now what's going to be cool is I'm now going to import. I'm going to insert a file, and I'm going to import version 6. Okay, there it is. Now, when you prep things for t-shirts, right, you can do a lot of different stuff with it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lighten this t-shirt a little bit. Go ahead and do something maybe like this. Yeah, I like that a lot more. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have him facing a different direction. So let's go ahead, go to Insert Image, Transform, Flip Horizontally, just like that. Let's go ahead and push this in just like that. And now you see how this is a little bit jacked up here and I've got pieces spilling over? That's okay. We're going to come in here, we're going to come to transform, we're going to warp, and now this is where I use the advanced mesh, and I just start kind of following the flow of the shirt. So, I'm going to go ahead and push this into the sides a little more, I'm going to blow that out a little more because the chest would change a little bit, I'm going to kind of move it in and away from the collar. So this is where you can really kind of shine. This is similar to how you use the liquify tool in like Photoshop. All right, and get it to where it kind of looks good. All right, great. Now, notice how this looks like it's sitting on top of the image, because in reality it is. Watch this. Now, watch this lower corner here where the lower yellow is. Move it down under the shadow layer. Boom! Instant change so that it looks like it's sitting on the shirt, not just up above it floating in space. 
Check it out. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. That's pretty cool. So this is still modifiable from here. You can keep on warping it if you want. You can adjust it now to kind of work with the wrinkles, to put the wrinkles where you want, and that kind of thing. So this is a great way to do a t-shirt mock-up in Procreate. And lastly, if you wanted to put a background on it, again, you could always turn on your background layer, and away you go. Alright, so we took the t-shirt design all the way from concept, all the way to mock-up here in Procreate. We used images for Procreate. And so, I hope that shows you that Procreate is a very versatile program for everything from text, to sketching, to mock-ups, to photos. Alright folks, hope you learned a little bit along the way. Let's go ahead and wrap this up.